Come on in, come on in. Yes, it is the Weekly Entertainment News Podcast. I am your brother, Brother Harma King, and I'm in the building. Hey, listen, tell somebody that we're on the airways. We're making this thing happen. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Tell somebody. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? And you already know we are powered by the Reporter newspaper, which is Akron, Ohio's only all black publication. We're about to get right into it, y'all. You already know, man. I ain't going to just kidnap you all day. I'm going to get you with the news right now. Listen, look like Pete Diddy is in the news, and it looks like it's federal. Uh, is it like federal investigators convene on a grand jury possibility? Now, what are we talking about here? A lot of people don't know, so I'm just going to read it. It says, uh, Diddy's legal troubles are getting even worse as a grand jury has reportedly been impaneled to hear evidence in its federal probe indicating he could face possible criminal charges, right? You know, no, well, let's talk about the charges. We already know some of the potential witnesses would likely be Diddy's accusers who have filed lawsuits against him for sexual, hum, I mean, sexual assault, human trafficking, and other serious offenses. Uh, so far, Diddy has been named in eight lawsuits indicating most notably the one with our sister, our beloved sister Kathy, that he settled real quick. But look, let's check this out. In case you've been living under a rock, grand juries comprised of average citizens often signal that uh, in, an investigation has moved from the preliminary stage to the new phase in which prosecutors present evidence and witnesses testimony to the juries, among other things. The grand jury ultimately votes on whether to criminally charge the defendant. That's where we're at right now. In case you've been living under a rock, I just kind of wanted to break it down. You know what I'm trying to say? Because you hear stuff and you hear stuff, but I want to clarify it for you and yours. Speaking about clarifying it for you and yours, a little like my sister Candace Owen in the news. Oh my God. Or should I say Cardi B? It looks like our sister Candace Owens have a problem with her Twitter feed getting all the smut all the porn, you already know, it's called X for a reason. At least that's what I'm saying. They called it, they threw it away from Twitter and calling it X, okay? So apparently she says she believes the, the um, porn that's being promoted through the X um, platform weakens, uh, psychologically weakens men and control men. Cardi B says, however, she got on an Instagram and she posted, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. what are we talking here? Porn ain't never hurt nobody. And you already know she she's damn near a uh, uh, porn. No, I ain't going to say porn enthusiast because she just said she look at porn from time to time. It's not an addiction or nothing like that. But she says, Cardi B with her lovely self, she said it could help men to know how to, at least teach them how to please a woman. But anyway, that is kind of interesting, man. Uh, what do you think? Get in the comic session. Let somebody know. Are you... Are you with the porn all up and down your, your social media platform? If it's social media, you're going to see some freaky stuff going on. It's even like that on the Facebooklet. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's getting worse. But anyway, speaking about what's getting worse, it looks like my beautiful sister, Angel Reese, is in the news. Let's go. Okay, now, we already know what happened over the weekend. Uh, Caitlin Clark. Uh, yeah, and uh, my beloved sister, Angel Reese, had the first WNBA battle, okay? It was epic. It went down to the, uh, it was 70 to 71, something like that. But apparently, she got fined. And people was confused. They tried to say, how did Angel Reese get fined? What happened? Well, you know, it was a part of the game where our uh, sister was applauding a little too aggressively after Kaylin Clark got hard bodied or hard, hard fouled. And so people were thinking, oh man, she gonna get reprimanded for that. I said, for clapping? You gonna get reprimanded for clapping? Actually, it wasn't for clapping. She got reprimanded because I think she was so disgusted. She didn't make herself, I'm talking about Angel Reese, was so disgusted she didn't make herself available for the post interview or the post, um, uh, what is that thing called? Yeah, the interview, you know, the press conference, the post press conference. So um, she got hit with a thousand dollar fine and it looks like her team got hit with a five thousand dollar fine. It is a part of the deal, you guys, that they have to make themselves available win or loss. But they got to make themselves available. So she didn't care. She was upset or maybe I'm going to have to say maybe she thought because she is a rookie. 
So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Speaking about somebody that's not a rookie. Look like my sister Rihanna is in the news. Surprise! And she's doing big things. It's like she leads the whole talent gambit when it comes to diamond records. She holds the records for the female with the most diamond records. Now, we know what gold is. We know what platinum is. And if we don't, gold is 500,000 selling units. Platinum is a million selling units. Diamond is 10 million selling units, okay? So it looks like our sister uh, Rihanna has, they say in seven diamond releases. Now we know you ain't gonna sell two million records um, upon release. So over the years, certain songs have finally reached diamond status. So big ups to her. They did say she said some kind of kind of smart at the end. She says, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not going back and forth with what I'm doing. Some people think that means she's leaving people in the dust. No. What she's saying is, and this is my personal view, she's saying since she ain't gonna go back and forth, that means ain't no dispute. I am the hottest selling female in the game. That's what she's saying. The 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 the, the Taylor Swift, the Beyonce's, that's what she's talking about. People are scared to say that. Speaking about somebody who ain't scared to say nothing, look like our man Eminem is back, okay, with Houdini. Thank you. I've seen everybody talk about it over the weekend. I've seen the video up to date to this date right here in the office today. Uh, three days later, after it's released, that thing on YouTube has 32 million views. That's, I'm going to say that again. 32 million views. Some people are like, wait a minute, hold on. Those could be bots or paid for or bots or whatever. Who gives a damn? Eminem is back. Everybody is clamoring. Everybody is saying dope stuff. And the thing that's really crazy, if you look at the video, it says uh, you can see Eminem, the old Slim Shady, coming out of the cell phone, and he's shocked at what he is seeing. Metaphorically speaking, he's seeing some wild stuff. But what he's seeing is what's happening today. So apparently he's going to come out, or eventually he comes out, and he starts rapping the same style, which is dope, and that brisk reality doseness of how he gets America, put it right in front of the thing. He talks about R. Kelly. He talks about Megan Thee Stallion. He talks about everybody. And then people are trying to come at him and stuff and trying to say, hey, hold on. You can't talk like that. It's 2024. It's no longer 2003 or four. You can't come out like that. Well, guess what? The joke's on you because that's what Slim Shady does. That's his stick. You got to think of it like a comedian. He's like a comedian with the style, man. Speaking about somebody who got different styles and different facets, it look like my man Snoop Dogg's wife, though. What? Is in the news. So I say Snoop Dogg is in the news, but his wife is in the news. She just opened up a business. Let that be a lesson to you. The boss lady can open up business, and she did. Let that be a lesson to you, black woman. You can open up a business too. You got the support of your husband and all of his entertainment friends. You got people like DJ Quick was at the opening. Wiz Khalifa is at the opening. Tiffany Haddish, Too Short. Big Boy from Real 92.3, okay? And some other people was there, okay? So money was everywhere. Well, you might be asking what type of business did she open? The boss lady opened up a strip club, y'all. She opened up a strip club, and of course, Snoop Dogg looked at mad comfortable in the thing. So we're going to celebrate Big Boss Lady, or the Miss Boss Lady. They call her Boss Lady. That's Snoop Dogg's wife. We're going to celebrate. We're going to give a round of applause for opening up and, and promoting black business, okay, in the traditional fashion in the entertainment world. Speaking about the entertainment world, Bow Wow oh my God. gets on Instagram. Or was it Twitter? Or was it X? Whatever the hell it was. And he bosses up. He said, hey, I'm going to start. You think 50 Cent really going in? I need some money. Some of you rap mugs got some money you owe me. It's been over three years. Don't let me get on this damn thing and start, you know what I'm saying, airing out some names. Some people was wilding. They were saying, wait a minute. Why is Bow Wow acting tough about his money when he out here robbing little girls? That's right. People done looked it up and they saw, they saw that Bow Wow allegedly had a lawsuit going against him. Apparently a 10-year-old girl uh, with her parents and stuff was trying to get him the feature on the song. They said he was going to do a feature for like $3,000 and they send it through the cash app and stuff like that. And so people are talking about Bow Wow. Why are you talking like that? You're, you, you out here scamming too. Eh, eh, push your brakes. In actuality, that wasn't um, Bow Wow. Bow Wow said, hey, you need to check out your style. I don't do new, no entertainment business through Cash App 
or no apps. Hell, I don't even have a cash app. If it's not done through management and you're not wiring the money, you've been catfished. And let that be a lesson to you. Although we know these things can help, but listen at the opportunity. Somebody was going to offer uh, Bow Wow some money for a verse, and it comes through these damn phones. And that's what they're doing, man. So at the end of the day, Bow Wow says, I still practice standard entertainment business. So I'm not going to let that. I'm not going to let that go. All right. Listen, man, um, you already know this is the reporter newspaper and we are powered by the reporter newspaper. So the reporter newspaper online is the website. The reporter newspaper is the newspaper that's in tangible form. And we promote black press. This is the black press. What you're seeing now is the media, but the newspaper itself is the black press that's been in business for over 50 years. We want to give a shout out to the reporter newspaper for their ongoing continuation of promoting positive images just like we do every day in some of the news, not just here in Akron, but on a national and global scale. Pick up a reporter newspaper or just go to the website, the reporter newspaper online.com now, right? We're about to go into my favorite part of the show. I call it the conscious content. What are we going to talk about here today? We're going to talk about Snoop Dogg and Master P. What do they got in common? They got a cereal brand. You already know they call it Snoop Cereal. And they suing Walmart. Now, I could read this thing word for word, but I'm going to paraphrase it for you so you can understand. Apparently, uh, Snoop Dogg and Master P is suing Post Cereal and Walmart, uh, claiming that they are hindering their lucrative sales. What am I talking about? So apparently they had a deal. They were trying to negotiate a deal, kind of like a a print and distribution deal or produce and distribution deal through Post. And so when Post said, okay, let me look at this deal. And they looked at it like they was interested in whatnot and everything. And But it wasn't favorable to the ownership, which is uh, Snoop and Master P. So they did not like that deal. So they countersued, they counteracted for something what else. And at any rate, since the thing didn't go in their favor, uh, it looks like, at least they alleging Post and um, Walmart sabotaging sales. How do you sabotage sales on the retail level? Well, look, they did their due diligence. I'm talking about Master Ben Snoop Dogg and was in the Walmart and wondered why this shit wasn't posted on the shelves. Why wasn't it merchandised on the shelves? You see it on the internet, people coming in and anyway, people getting online talking about they can't find the cereal. I even seen people using the cell phones showing no, no cereal there, right? So apparently Snoop Dogg and Master P at school, connected to the community they are, they ask uh, employees to go to the back and see if some cereal back there. Lord and behold, there's cereal back there. And not only is it cereal back there, but there's notes on the damn thing that says, do not put on shelves. That's all the damn news they need to get, that they need to have to sue. And I think they're going to get that money. Big ups to Snoop Dogg and Master P. Since we in the conscious content, I got to talk about Nicki Minaj. Uh, you know, she's in the news. You know, she was just pulled over by the Dutch or whatever. She was out of town and everything. And she's hollering. Um, she thought she was pulled over because she was profiled because she's black. Now, the thing is, I, I have a problem when I hear people say, and this is the Dutch police saying, it's annoying that she experienced it that way. A rep for the Amsterdam Police Department said to the outlet, we arrest her when we found dozens of joints in her luggage. After her paying her fine, we let her go and everything went smoothly. But the thing that I have a problem with this is she's saying that she feels that she was racially profiled. The thing that the other people always say is I hate when they, it's annoying when they play that card because she actually said that. We, you know, we pull people over, we do our things based on the, the, it don't matter if you're a star or whatever, not your race or nothing. But see, when Europeans or white folks say, I hate when people play the race card, what do you mean the race card? That's our experience. It's not a card. It's not something we play. It's our experience. That's how we feel. That's not a damn thing that we, oh, let me play the race card. We, we black people don't think like that. We think like, damn, you pull, we get pulled over worldwide. That's a fact you can't minimize the sister's experience, beliefs, and understanding on how we are treated. What you have to understand, white man, is we do know you doing your job, but how in the hell are you going to talk about our cultural uh, uh, scars, okay, based on your, at the hands of you, okay? How come she can't say how she feel without annoying you? Listen. 
This is AquinHipHop.com. I am your brother, Brother Hiram Hakeem. Y'all better feel me before they kill me, y'all. Peace. Can't be for me, hold on the frequency, bitch, EOD with the fuck is a muck. Nigga be safe, whoa, leave him snuggling, he on the cover, then fuck it, we tugging him in. It's all in this stuff, nigga, fuck it, you said, bird, bitch, get your scrub. We ain't going back and forth by the door, we ain't going back and forth by the door. Watch, hello, ella, illa, ha, illa, la, we come in the name of the source. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, we flipping niggas off the porch. Niggas in Paris, somebody, yeah, and J version, boss, OJ, Harden, but they think they the highest, we locking them up, you get caught with the smoke, get your flame dark, and they shoot a shot, but I ain't far, this fuck around, hit the same target.